Okay, now we will start with another chapter of derivatives which is called as inverse trigo. First, let's write the formulas down at one on the on one corner. Let's see this. What are the formulas of inverse trigo for derivatives? d by dx of sin inverse of x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. d by dx of cos inverse of x is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. d by dx of tan inverse of x is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus x square. d by dx of cot inverse of x is minus 1 upon 1 plus x square d by dx of sec inverse of x is 1 upon modulus of x square root of x square minus 1 d by dx of cosec inverse of x is minus 1 upon modulus of x square root of x square minus 1 so these are all the inverse trigo formulas that you will need okay in derivatives now besides using this formula, I would also advise you to be very clear with multiple sub multiple formulas because they are used extensively when you are doing inverse trigo and derivatives. For your convenience, I am going to write the multiple sub multiple formulas also here. We know that we are writing the multiple formulas. These are multiple trigo formulas. Multiple angle trigo formulas sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta which is nothing but 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta which is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1 which is nothing but 1 minus 2 sin square theta which is nothing but 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. Next, let's see another formula which is tan 2 theta. Tan 2 theta is 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta. Right, that leads us to the formula 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta and 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sin square theta right once we have the multiple angle formulas and we have the derivative formulas now we could start the chapter let's see a couple of sums guys y is equal to sin inverse of root x right differentiate with respect to x so you will get d by dx of y is d by dx of sin inverse of root x now since this term and this term is not the same you will have to apply composite function now d by dx of sin inverse of u we know sin inverse of x for sin inverse of u all you have to do is just put a d by dx of u at the end so let's see this d by dx of sin inverse of u is 1 upon square root of 1 minus u square d by dx of u so this is going to be 1 upon square root of 1 minus x d by dx of root x is 1 upon 2 root x that will be odds right let's see another sum guys y is equal to tan inverse of x by a same formula again that is same method again differentiate with respect to x so you will get d by dx of y is d by dx of tan inverse of x by a. You will be using the formula d by dx of tan inverse of u. 1 upon 1 plus u square d by dx of u. Right? So this is going to be 1 upon a square plus x square. The common denominator a square I am writing here in the numerator into 1 upon a d by dx of x is 1. 
So this A and A gets cancelled. So your final answer is A upon A square plus X square. Fine, we get this thing here. Let's move on to the next one, guys. Y is equal to cosec inverse of X square. Right? Differentiate with respect to X. So you will get D by DX of Y is d by dx of cosec inverse of x square you will be using the formula d by dx of cosec inverse of u is nothing but 1 upon modulus of u root of u square minus 1 d by dx of u so this is going to be 1 upon modulus of x square root of x4 minus 1 d by dx of x square is 2x so x and square gets cancelled this can be written as 2 upon x square root of x raised to 4 minus 1 under modulus that will be the answer for this sum fine let's move on to the next sum guys y is equal to 5 base to x second inverse of x right let's see how do we do this sum differentiate with respect to x so you will get d by dx of y is nothing but d by dx of 5 base to x second inverse of x since there is a multiplication here you will use the multiplication formula that is the uv formula right d by dx of uv v derivative of u plus u derivative of v so this is going to be second verse of x d by dx of 5 raised to x is 5 raised to x log 5 plus 5 raised to x d by dx of second verse of x 1 upon square root of uh, 1 upon modulus of x square square root of x square minus 1 right so in this case i would take 5 raised to x common in which case you will get second verse of x log 5 into plus 1 upon modulus of x square root of x square minus 1 right next let's move on to the next one guys y is equal to cot inverse of x upon e raised to x right let's see the sum differentiate with respect to x so in this case you will get d by dx of y is d by dx of cot inverse of x upon e raised to x here you will use u upon v formula so this is going to be equal to v derivative of u minus u derivative of v upon v square so this is going to be e raised to x minus 1 upon 1 plus x square minus cot inverse of x e raised to x upon e raised to x the whole square here you could take e raised to x common so in which case you will get minus 1 upon 1 plus x square minus cot inverse of x upon e raised to x the whole square e raised to x and square gets cancelled here you could take lcm you could take minus sign common 1 minus 1 plus x square cot inverse of x take that common denominator down so in which case you will get 1 plus x square into e raised to x that will be your answer right let's move on to the next one guys y 
y is equal to tan inverse of sin x upon 1 plus cos x right this is where you would need your multiple sub multiple formula if i use sub multiple formula i can say sin theta is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 upon 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 2 cos square x by 2 I am using sub multiple formula here now 2 and 2 gets cancelled cos square and x by 2 gets cancelled so this becomes tan inverse of tan x by 2 because sin upon cos will give you tan tan inverse and tan gets cancelled so this becomes x by 2 now differentiate with respect to x if I differentiate with respect to x, there will be d by dx of y is d by dx of x by 2. So this is going to be 1 by 2 because d by dx of x is 1. Next, let's move on to the next sum guys. y is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 plus cos x upon 1 minus cos x right again you will have to use the sub multiple formulas here y is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 plus cos x is going to be 2 cos square x by 2 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled this is nothing but tan inverse of square root of cot square x by 2 cos upon sin is cot now square and root gets cancelled so in which case you will get this as tan inverse of cot x by 2 cot theta can be written as tan 90 minus theta so this is tan 90 minus theta tan inverse and tan gets cancelled so this is pi by 2 minus x by 2 differentiate with respect to x if i differentiate with respect to x i'll get d by dx of y is d by dx of pi by 2 minus x by 2 so this is 0 minus 1 by 2 your answer is minus 1 by 2 why do we get this thing here let's move on to the next sum y is equal to tan inverse of cos x upon 1 plus sin x again here you will have to use the multiple sub multiple formulas specifically the sub multiple angle formulas so this will be tan inverse of cos x can be written as cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 upon 1 can be written as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 hence I am substituting 1 as cos square theta plus sin square theta now plus sin x can be substituted as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 this can be written as tan inverse of this is in the form, the numerator is in the form a square minus b square so this is going to be a plus b into a minus b upon the denominator is in the form a square plus 2ab plus b square so this is going to be a plus b the whole square cos and cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 and the square will get cancelled so you will get tan inverse of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 now in order to get tan inside I have a tan inverse outside that means I need to get tan inside the first term of the denominator should be 1 how do I make this term as 1? divide numerator and denominator 
by cos x by 2 in which case you will get this as tan inverse of 1 minus sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 is tan x by 2 upon 1 plus same thing sin upon cos is tan x by 2 now this particular tan x by 2 can be written as tan x by 2 into 1 why? I just show you this is tan inverse of we know that tan 45 is 1 so 1 can be substituted as tan 45 45 can be written as pi by 4 minus tan x by 2 upon 1 plus tan x by 2 this particular one I am substituting as tan 45 now use addition formula tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b is nothing but tan a minus b tan inverse and tan gone so that leaves you with pi by 4 minus x by 2 now differentiate differentiate with respect to x if I differentiate with respect to x I will get d by dx of y is d by dx of pi by 4 minus x by 2 right now d by dx of pi by 4 is 0 1 by 2 as it is d by dx of x is 1 so your answer is going to be minus 1 by 2 right let's move on to the next sum people y is equal to cosec inverse of 1 upon 2x root of 1 minus x squared first of all we don't have multiple sub multiple formulas for cosec inverse sec inverse and cot inverse so whenever you have this what you need to do is you need to convert them into sin inverse cos inverse and tan inverse how do I do the conversion? Very simple, just reciprocate the angle to convert from cosec inverse to sin inverse, similarly from sec inverse to cos inverse and from cot inverse to tan inverse. Let's see how I do this in practicality. Why? I have cosec inverse here. To convert this into sin inverse, I have to just reciprocate the angle. Right? Now, since I have a sine inverse outside, I need to get a sine inside. So what we are going to do is, we are going to assume let x be equal to say sine theta. If x is sine theta, it implies that theta is nothing but sine inverse of x. If I take the sine on the other side, it becomes sine inverse. Now, I can say y is equal to sine inverse of 2 x x can be substituted as sin theta square root of 1 minus sin square theta this is nothing but sin inverse of 2 sin theta 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos square theta square root of cos square theta is nothing but cos theta this is sin inverse of 2 sin theta cos theta multiple angles is nothing but sin 2 theta sin inverse and sin gets cancelled that is 2 theta but what is theta? theta is nothing but sin inverse of x right so I get y is equal to 2 sin inverse of x now differentiate with respect to x so I will get d by dx of y is d by dx of 2 sin inverse of x 2 comes out as it is d by dx of sin inverse of x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square so that will be your answer fine we get this thing here next let's move on ahead y is equal to sec inverse of 1 upon 1 minus 2x square as I told you in the previous sum, you cannot have, you don't have to do formulas with sec inverse, cosec inverse and cot inverse, you have to convert them. So first thing I'm going to do is convert sec inverse to cos inverse. How do I do that? By reciprocating the angle. So 
So this will be cos inverse of 1 minus 2x square. Now think about a multiple or submultiple angle formula that is that resembles this format. We know, guys, we know that 1 minus 2 sine square theta, 1 minus 2 sine square theta resembles the format 1 minus 2x square, right? Hence, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the value of x as sine theta. You will say net x be equal to sine theta. Therefore, I could say theta is sine inverse of x by taking the sine on the other side. You will get y is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Now, this is in the format of multiple angle. 1 minus 2 sine square theta is nothing but cos 2 theta. So, cos inverse of cos 2 theta. Cos inverse and cos gets cancelled, that is 2 theta, which can be written as 2. Theta can be written as sin inverse of x. So, this is nothing but 2 sin inverse of x. Differentiate with respect to x. So, you will get d by dx of y is nothing but d by dx of 2 sin inverse of x. 2 sin inverse of x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. Why do we get this in here? Next, let's move on to the next one. Y is equal to cot inverse of 1 minus x square upon 2x. Right? Now, how do we solve this sum? First, convert this from cot inverse to tan inverse. So this will be y is equal to tan inverse of 2x upon 1 minus x square. Since there is a tan inverse outside, you will take tan inside. So you will say that x be equal to tan theta. Therefore, I can say that theta is tan inverse of x. y is equal to tan inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta. Again, you will use multiple angle. This is 2 tan, sorry, this is y is equal to tan inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 plus 1 minus tan square theta is nothing but tan 2 theta. 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta is tan 2 theta. So y is equal to 2 theta. y is equal to 2 tan inverse of x. I am substituting the value of theta. Differentiate with respect to x, you will get d by dx of y is d by dx of 2 tan inverse of x. This is 2 tan inverse of x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So answer is 2 upon 1 plus x square. Right? Let's move on to the next sum guys. y is equal to cos inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square. Think about a multiple angle formula which is in the format 2x upon 1 plus x square. 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume x to be tan theta. If x is tan theta then theta is tan inverse of x. So I can say y is equal to cos inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but sin 2 theta. Right? Now we know that sin theta is nothing but cos 90 minus theta. So I can say y is equal to cos inverse of cos 90 minus theta. Cos inverse and cos gets cancelled. So you will get y is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 theta. I can substitute the value of theta. So I will get y is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 tan inverse of x. Differentiate with respect to x. If I differentiate with respect to x, I will get d by dx of y 
is 0 minus 2 d by dx of tan inverse of x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. Since pi by 2 was constant, its derivative was 0. So your answer is going to be minus 2 upon 1 plus x square. Let's move on ahead guys. y is equal to sin inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. Again, think about a multiple, sub-multiple formula that is in the format 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. We have this formula cos 2 theta is 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. So what I'm going to do is I'll say let x be equal to tan theta. Therefore, I can say that theta is tan inverse of x. Now, y can be written as sin inverse of 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. So, you will get y is equal to sin inverse of 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but cos 2 theta. What have I done here? I substituted the value of x as tan theta. Okay. Now, y is equal to sin inverse of cos 2 theta. Cos theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta. Cos theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta. So, you will get y is equal to sin inverse and sin gets cancelled. Pi by 2 minus 2 theta. We substitute the value of theta. So 2 tan inverse of x. So now differentiate with respect to x. So you will get d by dx of y is d by dx of constant is 0 minus 2 upon 1 plus x square. So your answer is minus 2 upon 1 plus x square. Fine. Let's move on ahead. Let's see another sum. y is equal to sin inverse of 4x cube minus 3x, right? Now, you will say that let you have to get a formula. Here, you will be using the triple angle formula. Here, you will be using the triple angle formula. So, you will say let x be equal to cos theta. Therefore, theta is nothing but cos inverse of x. So you will get y is equal to sin inverse of 4. This should have been, I think, a particular question wrong. 4x cube. This is 4x cube. So this will be 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. Find the way this in here. Now, once you have this 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta by using triple angle formula is nothing but cos 3 theta. Then the same thing that we've done in the previous two terms is sums. Cos theta is nothing but sine 90 minus theta sin inverse and sin gets cancelled so this is pi by 2 minus 3 theta substitute the value of theta theta is nothing but cos inverse of x right now differentiate with respect to x so you will get d by dx of y is 0 minus 3 cos inverse of x is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square now minus into minus will give you plus so answer is going to be 3 upon square root of 1 minus x square next let's see the next sum guys y 
y is equal to cot inverse of 1 minus 3x square upon 3x minus x cube. Right? Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to convert this from cot inverse to tan inverse. How do I do this? By reciprocating the now given angle. So this will be tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. Let x be equal to tan theta. If x is tan theta then I can say theta is tan inverse of x. Right? So you will get y is equal to tan inverse of 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. This is again triple angle formula. So this will be y is equal to tan inverse of tan 3 theta. Tan inverse and tan gets cancelled. This is 3 theta. We substitute the value of theta which is tan inverse of x. Differentiate with respect to x. So you will get dy dx of y is dy dx of 3 tan inverse of x. This is 3 as it is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So your answer is 3 upon 1 plus x square. Right? Let's see another sum guys. y is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 plus x square minus 1 upon x. Right? So let's see the sum. I can say that let since there is a tan inverse outside, the probability of taking a tan inside the bracket and getting the answer is very high. So I am going to assume x to be tan theta. Therefore, I can say theta is tan inverse of x. So you could say y is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 plus tan square theta minus 1 upon tan theta right now I will copy this up right yes so this can be written as tan inverse of 1 plus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta by identities is nothing but 6 square theta square root of 6 square theta is nothing but sec theta minus 1 upon tan theta convert everything into sine and cos. So this is tan inverse of 1 upon cos theta minus 1 upon sine theta upon cos theta. Right? This can be written as tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta upon sine theta after taking LCM and cancelling. If I take LCM here this will be 1 minus cos theta. Cos theta, cos theta. Both the denominators get cancelled and this is what you will get. Now, I can use some multiple here. This is tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta. It is nothing but 2 sin square theta by 2. Sin theta by using some multiple is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled, sin square and sin theta by 2 gets cancelled. So this is tan inverse, sin upon cos is nothing but tan theta by 2. Tan inverse and tan gets cancelled, this is theta by 2. But what is the value of theta? You assume theta to be tan inverse of x. So I will get this is 1 upon 2 tan inverse of x. Now differentiate this differentiate with respect to x so you will get d by dx of y is 1 upon 2 as it is tan inverse of x is 1 upon 1 plus x square so that will be your answer right 
that's more than okay some guys. Y is equal to cos inverse of 2 cos x minus no plus 3 sin x upon root 13. Right? A favorite question with the examiners. Y is equal to cos inverse of <coughs> sorry 2 upon root 13 cos x plus 3 upon root 13 sin x. What am I doing here guys? I am splitting the numerator. I am writing this as 2 upon 13 and 3 upon 13. I am splitting the numerator. Now let's leave that here and let's draw a right angle triangle. Right? Let's take one angle to be theta and one angle to be 90 degree. Let us assume that the two sides are 2 and 3. Why 2 and 3? Because I need 2 and 3 in the answer. Now if I apply Pythagoras theorem to this, my hypotenuse will be root 30. So now I can say y is equal to cos inverse of 2 by root 13 can be written as sin theta. 2 by root 13 can be written as sin theta sin x plus 3 by root 13 can be written as cos theta. 3 by root 13 can be written as cos theta. Wait, I made a mistake in writing this. This is cos x and this is sin x. So this is going to be sin theta cos x plus cos theta sin x. Fine, do we get this thing here? Now, here I can use addition formula. If I use addition formula, this is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b, which is nothing but sin a plus b. Y is equal to cos inverse of sin theta is nothing but cos 90 minus theta cos inverse and cos gets cancelled so this is pi by 2 minus theta plus x now theta can be written as y is equal to pi by 2 minus from this triangle I can say theta is nothing but tan inverse of 2 by 3 because see tan theta is going to be nothing but 2 by 3 so theta is going to be tan inverse of 2 by 3 plus minus into plus is minus x differentiate if I differentiate with respect to x I will get d by dx of y d by dx of constant 0 d by dx of constant 0 dy dx of x is 1. So you will get dy by dx is minus 1. Right? Let's move on to the next one guys. y is equal to tan inverse 2 minus 3x upon 1 plus 6x right let's see the sum now we have learned a formula in 11th standard which says that we have learned a formula in 11th standard which says that tan inverse of A minus tan inverse of B is tan inverse of A minus B upon 1 plus AB a trigo inverse formula that like we've learnt in level standard. Now let's see this if I can apply this formula. I can say y is equal to tan inverse of 2 plus sorry 2 minus 3x upon 1 plus 6x can be written as 2 into 3x. 6x can be written as 2 into 3x. Now this is in this format, so this can be written as tan inverse of 2 minus 
tan inverse of 3x by using the formula differentiate with respect to x. So if I differentiate with respect to x, I'll get dy dx of y is dy dx of tan inverse of 2 minus dy dx of tan inverse of 3x. Tan inverse of 2 is 0 minus dy dx of tan inverse of 3x. I will have to use the composite formula dy dx of tan inverse of u is 1 upon 1 plus u square dy dx of u. So in that case you will get this as minus 1 upon 1 plus 9x square into 3. My answer is minus 3 upon 1 plus 9x square. Right? Let's move on to the next sum guys. y is equal to cot inverse of 1 plus x root x upon root x minus x. Right? Let's see this. Now, since it is cot inverse, first thing I need to do is convert it into tan inverse. Right? How do I convert it into tan inverse? By reciprocating. So this is root x minus x upon 1 plus x root x. Same formula that we used in the previous sum. So I can say y is equal to, this is in the format tan inverse of a minus b upon 1 plus ab. Which is nothing but tan inverse of a minus tan inverse of b. Same formula that we used in the previous sum. Differentiate with respect to x so you will get dy dx of y is dy dx of tan inverse of root x minus tan inverse of x now here you will be using dy dx of tan inverse of u composite formula if I use composite formula this is going to be 1 upon 1 plus u square dy dx of u minus 1 upon 1 plus x square dy dx of x square now this is going to be 1 upon 1 plus square root of x square is x dy dx of root x is 1 upon 2 root x minus 1 upon 1 plus x square that will be the answer for this sum right let's move on to the next sum guys y is equal to tan inverse of a minus a plus b cos x upon b minus a cos x. Whenever you have a tan inverse formula, in order to get tan, the first number of your denominator should always be 1. In order to convert this number into 1, I will say divide numerator and denominator by b. So y is equal to tan inverse of a upon b plus cos x upon 1 minus a upon b cos x. Here I could use a similar formula. I could use the formula tan inverse of a plus tan inverse of b is tan inverse of a plus b upon 1 minus ab right now if I use this formula I get y is equal to tan inverse of a upon b plus tan inverse of cos x differentiate with respect to x if I differentiate with respect to x I get dy dx of y is dy dx of tan inverse of a upon b plus tan inverse of cos x. This can be written as dy dx of constant is 0 plus dy dx of cos inverse of x. You will use the composite formula 1 upon 1 plus 
cos square x d by dx of cos x. 1 upon 1 plus u square d by dx of u. d by dx of cos x is minus sin x upon 1 plus cos square x. That will be the formula. That will be the answer. Sorry. Let's see the next sum, guys. Y is equal to cos inverse of 4x upon 1 plus 5x square. Now, I need to get this in a format wherein I can have sum of two numbers as 4x and product of two numbers as 5x square. How do I do this? I can say y is equal to cos inverse of 4x can be written as 5x minus x right? upon 1 plus 5x square can be written as 5x into x right once you've done this this now is in the formula format this can be written as have I copied this out correctly cos inverse no yes this is not cos inverse this is tan inverse Right? So this is going to be tan inverse of a minus b upon 1 plus ab can be written as tan inverse of a minus tan inverse of b. Once you've done this, differentiate with respect to x d by dx of y is d by dx of tan inverse of 5x minus tan inverse of x open the brackets and simplify d by dx of tan inverse of u composite form now 1 upon 1 plus u square d by dx of u minus 1 upon 1 plus x square straightforward formula right so your answer will be 5 d by dx of 5 x is 5 1 plus 25 x square minus 1 upon 1 plus x square right that will be the answer for the sum let's move on to the next one guys the last sum to finish this chapter y is equal to tan inverse of 5x upon 1 minus 6x square right I need to get two numbers such that their product is 5x uh, sorry such that the sum is 5x and their product is 6x squared how do I do this? this can be written as y is equal to tan inverse 5x can be written as 3x plus 2x 3 plus 2 is 5 so their sum is 5x and their product has to be 6x squared that means if I write 3x into 2x I will get 6x squared this is in the form tan inverse of a plus b upon 1 minus ab which can be written as tan inverse of a plus tan inverse of b differentiate with respect to x so you will get d by dx of y is d by dx of tan inverse of 3x plus tan inverse of 2x right in both the cases this and this you will have to use composite formula d by dx of tan inverse of u 1 upon 1 plus u square d by dx of u plus 1 upon 1 plus u square d by dx of u right this can be written as 3 upon 1 plus 9x square plus 2 upon 1 plus 4x square that will be the answer right this finishes this chapter uh, inverse trigger fine do we get this thing clear we will stop this here for the day we will continue with this in the next session thank you very much